right, in this one I wanted to do just dead simple equal height columns uh, and talk a little bit about what you do with the extra columns at the end once they've wrapped on. So uh, what I've got here is I've got a div with a class of elements and then I've got a whole bunch of divs here uh, with some text in it. So um, open up your style.css and again, all this is just regular CSS to make it look decent. Uh, we're going to start down here. So if I want these things to go beside each other, I want them to be in columns and I want them to be of equal height of the largest one. How do we do that? Well, go ahead and select the elements. So elements again, this is going to be our you tell me flex container. Good. I heard you from wherever you are. Uh, so we'll say display flex and give it a save, refresh. And oh, holy smokes. So what it does by default is um, it will put them together. And how is it determining the, the width of these columns? Well, Arkansas is determining the width of these columns. Uh, and that's really not what we want. But uh, when you say flex, things by default are in a row and they will just go forever. They do not wrap. That's the word we're looking for. They do not wrap by default. So how do we turn wrapping on? Well, flex, wrap, wrap. Uh, give it a save and bam. Okay, that's starting to starting to wrap and it's kind of interesting. This is something that you might want. It, it kind of just tries to fit as many as it possibly can. How big are these elements here? They are as big as the content needs them to be. Sometimes you only get one on a line. Sometimes you get two. I don't want to see any three, but if I were to make this bigger, you'll see that you can fit a whole bunch of them on the line. So that'd be kind of a, a cool layout for tags or something on a WordPress blog. However, uh, we also want to um, give these a width because we want to be able to uh, sort of fit them in as we can. So uh, select the flex items. So that's dot item, I believe. Yes, it is. And we'll say flex one grow one shrink and let's give it a 33.33 percent width save and huh okay well it's it's first of all we've got our columns here it's working but let's let's put that on hold for a second i said 33.33 and there's only two on there so what's the deal here well since we explicitly gave it a width and if you look up here, I gave it a margin of 10 px. So again, we're over budget. 33 plus 33 plus 33 plus 20 pixels of margin on either one. We're over our 100% budget. So what we could do there is just set this to calc minus uh, 20 px, right? Because we're going to have 10 px on either side. Uh, and calc is not part of Flexbox. It's just part of CSS3. And it's actually... Uh, can I use .com? Let's let's take a look. What's the support? Support is really good. If you're using Flexbox, Flexbox doesn't work in IE9. So uh, if you're using Flexbox, you can go ahead and use Calc as well. So Calc, we're going to set it to 33.33% minus the 20 pixels that we need. Uh, and that should give us three per line. There we go. All right. So look what's happening here is... This is as bare basics you can get for equal height columns. By default, Flexbox will just uh, make the column as high or as low as it needs to be. So this one's pretty high. Um, maybe if we go in here and take these, let's just make these ones really, really small. Just put like one word in each. Give it a save. See, look how these ones are much higher than these ones because it just says, all right, who is in my row and how, how tall are you? And I'm going to size myself as tall as, uh, the highest one. So that's great. Um, if we scroll down to the bottom here, you'll notice that we've got a number that's not easily divisible by three or is not cleanly divisible by three. Uh, so what the browser does says, no problem. I'll just split up the extra area. That's the whole point uh, of the flex. Um, and that's great. But if you don't like that look, um, we have a couple of other options. We go to the CSS tricks article here and we've been dealing a lot with the uh, align content and align items where align items where we do it vertically, we can do it on the flex end or the center and things like that. But um, 
we're not really concerned with the vertical here. We're concerned with horizontal and how are these items uh, split up. So which one are we actually worrying about? We are look at justify content. So uh, again, this goes on the, this is a flex container element. So we're going to go ahead and put it on the flex container and with justify content. Um, and we can do things like uh, space between and you'll notice that it, it doesn't work. And the reason behind that is because we've told it to flex grow. In this case, we've got extra space and we've told it to evenly split the extra amounts to it. If we change that to zero, uh, what that will do is in the situation where we have more space than we need, which is the case, we previously told it to just split it up evenly and it did. But if we say zero, do nothing with the extra space. Now I've got this extra space on here uh, and the items are going to go on either end. Let's take a look at the other one. Since we've got this extra space that's left over, justify content lets us do, we just did space between, which it takes the extra space and just puts it in between. And since we only have two elements here, it just puts it all in between the two elements in one big go. Um, but we could also say things like space around, which will split it up between here, here, and here, uh, as well as flex start, flex end. You probably get the point here. Uh, or I really like to do center, which makes it look uh, kind of neat and tidy, depending on it. But um, what you might be tempted to say, no, I don't like that. Let's bring it back. Let's bring it back to stretch and give it a save and it won't work and why not because stretch is not a justify content property you'll see it's not listed here but how do we do that well we just take justify content all the way off and we tell our items to grow with the extra space in a magnitude of one and we're off to the races and good to go. So again, super simple. Um, this is something that a lot of people need to use Flexbox for. Uh, so keep this one handy and I'll see you in the next video.